Lizzo is apparently not who we thought she was. Three of her former dancers, Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez, are filing a lawsuit against her as well as the captain Charlene Quigley and Lizzo's company Big Girl Big Touring Inc. Why are they suing? They're suing for sexual harassment, racial harassment, religious harassment, disability discrimination, assault, and false imprisonment. Lizzo is accused of fat shaming her dancers and being very aggressive towards them, also bringing them to nude performances and forcing them to participate in things that have made them uncomfortable. The dance captain is also said to be overly sexual despite preaching Christianity and even reprimand dancers for having sex before marriage. The whole thing is crazy. How Beyonce got involved is because in the Break My Soul remix, she mentions some artist's name which included Lizzo. Now the lawsuit was filed on August 1st and Beyonce had a show that day. When she did the Break My Soul remix, instead of saying Badu Lizzo Kelly Rowe, she said Badu four times. <laughs> Now we must take into account that Erika Badu did come for Beyonce shortly before. Erika basically said Beyonce copied her by wearing the large hat on stage. One, Beyonce has been wearing that large hat since doing the formation video in 2016 and then she brought it on the formation world tour that same year. Two, yes Badu wore it before that but why call it out now and not then? Because it's silver? Well, silver is a running theme for the Renaissance World Tour. 3. Badu didn't invent hats. And I think it was unnecessary to say what she said, which was, I guess I'm everybody's stylist, while posting a side-by-side -side of her and Beyonce. So people were wondering if Beyonce would have taken Erica's name out, but instead she said it four times. I think it's her way of saying, yeah, I'm aware of the BS you said and calm down girl. She hasn't said Badu's name since. But on that night, while saying the name four times, she ended up not saying Lizzo's name, which made people question if she didn't say it because of the allegations and lawsuit. However, she also didn't say Kelly Rowland's name. The blogs started talking about this a lot, so Beyonce's mother, Miss Tina, commented on a post about the topic and said, she also didn't say her own sister's name, y'all should really stop. Honey, one thing Miss Tina is gonna do is to clear her baby's name, as she should. Overall, this whole situation is a mess. I actually want Beyonce to distance herself from the whole drama. Just sing the song normally with Lizzo's name so no one can say anything. But also, don't do the extra stuff because there's a clip of Beyonce saying she loves Lizzo. Here it is. Like, girl, just sing the song without doing the most. I like when Beyonce stays minding her business, but based on what I've seen of Lizzo's personality, she's extra so I can see where she could get carried away and end up coercing people into doing stuff that makes them uncomfortable. Maybe she did it without even realizing the full extent of her actions. I don't know. I don't know what's true and what's not. We'll just have to wait and see. But Lizzo did address the matter by saying she's not a villain and would never do the things she's accused of. Get the full details of the grimy things Lizzo is accused of by clicking the link in the comments. Trust me, you will be just as shocked as I was. Let me know your thoughts on this video below. Have a great day.